So let's start by talking about what is the Ken Burns effect. Well, the Ken Burns effect is a type of panning or zooming used in video production to make still images have motion. Um, it's named for obviously Ken Burns, who was an American documentary filmmaker who used this extensively, this technique extensively across his work. Now, um, how does it really work? Basically, if you drop your still images in here, we have two and they already have effects on them. But Basically, what happens is if you're an iMovie or Premiere or any of the other thing, you basically are dictating your start and your stop. So as you can see here, I'm just going to try to put this over darker text so you can see there is a start. So this is where the image starts and this is where it ends. Now, here we have multiple images stacked together. This is another thumbnail for one of the other videos we did. And we see it moving in a very different way. Same thing. The start and end could go in two totally different places. So, you know... You could, this is a great way if you only have still images where you could actually get a lot of motion in those still images if you're making a video of them. For instance, if you're making a slideshow that you're converting to a video, or if you want to combine still images to tell a story along with um, you know, video images, it's a great way to add motion to it. So you can see here, these are very different. Uh, we're going to put them in just opposite corner so we can see the difference. And basically, it's where, like I said, where our start and stop is. So if we go here and we play this, we're seeing that one move down, where the other one is gonna move up to the upper right. So basically what's happening is it's dictating the way the, um, the images are moving. Like I said, it's a really great technique if you want to add motion into your static, uh, for your static images into your videos. You combine it with some sound, you combine it with some other video clips, and you can make a nice little documentary or slideshow into, into a movie. Well, I hope this uh, tip helped on how to use the Ken Burns effect in iMovie as well as Premiere. Make sure you like and subscribe to this video so we can keep making more great videos for you all. Have a great day, everyone.